HLS Show Me How. Insert a Microsoft form into OneNote for testing and surveying. So the other day I did a demonstration in a HLS Show Me How video where we showed how to go ahead and insert video that would be in Microsoft Stream into OneNote. The applicability that we highlighted, I did two demos where I did one for ICU procedures and we showed sterilization and disinfecting where we had you know a bunch of verbiage, but then really the show me how kind of video inserted in. We also then took a look at having a team meeting. In this case, instead of it being you know something like nurses on the uh, floor of an ICU, this one in fact was with uh, pharmaceutical researchers who were then looking at doing shared meeting notes in OneNote, but then taking that recording of the meeting and inserting that in as well. Having done that. I got a question. So one of my customers, uh, a healthcare customer who had an interest around the whole nursing procedure piece, um, asked me if there was a way to then uh, query or test the nurses just to see if there was basic knowledge, understanding of the procedure and to verify in fact that they had reviewed the content and that they had you know, attained a basic level of understanding and mastery of the content. In other words, they wanted to quiz them and capture who it was. So that got me thinking, and you know, here we are, this is OneNote and it should be nice. We, again, we're, this is about creating this stuff without needing a whole IT staff and being able to you know, readily do this with power users, people in your org, without having to have a bunch of technical knowledge and in fact, there is an easy way. So, um, and we can do it both for this as well as for team meetings where we might want to then survey people about something we discussed that we need to come to a resolution around afterwards. So I'm gonna show you how we can quickly do that um, in both of these instances. So here we have this particular uh, instance where we created this uh, set of content right around sterilization and I took some actual content online uh, populated it in here I grabbed a video but now we want to test out our you know test out with our nurses so I'm going to come over and bring up my browser and here you can see I have a very basic and I did a video on this a while ago doing this uh, forms inserting into PowerPoint and in fact we can do something similar with OneNote. So here's Microsoft Forms. You get this with Office 365. It is super simple to create um, a form for a, as a quiz or for a survey. I'm gonna take an existing one that I have to quick show you how to insert it. Then we'll take a look at creating a survey for the other and show you how easy it is to create and to insert. Um, and I'll have a, a link back to the other one that I did as well. So here is this survey. It's pretty basic, right? I can go in and add questions. I can do choices, text questions, ratings, dates, right? Rankings, liker. We got a whole bunch of stuff that we can do here. And in this particular one, we're asking about hand scrubbing, right? So similar to that sanitate, you know, the sterilization for the ICU. What medium should you use? Well, certainly not water or peanut butter. And here you can see I have marked the correct answer. You can preview it and see what it would look like. This is what it looks like for a user. Then come in. Is it honey and butter? Your answer was submitted. It's going to tell them no. And if I wanted to, I could have had it also, you know, kick them back. But let's go ahead and go back here. The point is what we want to do is now take this. Oh, and by the way, here is that response. So we're now seeing who has done what, and I can take a look at, you know, the, the uh, answers. I can look in Excel and see who has done what, if, what their mastery was, and I'm seeing here the scores. Um, so all kinds of great stuff, right? Here's the details I can get, and I can see Mike Gennady answered it correctly. Mike Gennady was not so smart, all right? So all that's there. How do I do it? Well, I simply come up here to share. I'm going to go ahead and copy the link that's here. Notice I have it only people in my org. That means it's confined just to my organization. We're going to come back to our OneNote. And just like we did 
in the other one, it's simple. So I'm just going to put some quick verbiage to complete this training. Please complete the quiz below to show you have watched, read, and mastered this content. There we go. All right. So I've got some basic verbiage and I could, you know, if we want to format that to highlight it, whatever. But once we're done, I'm simply going to come in here and I'm going to, I already copied that link. I'm just going to paste it. Look at what it's doing. It's automatically inserting it into my OneNote. So now as a user, I can come in and say, ah, water and antibacterial, submit, boom. And then I could view re results um, and I can see, hey, oh, that was what it should have been. Right, I got it correct. And also if we come back here now and look at our responses, look at that. And we now have three responses. It's tracking all that. Again, I can open in Excel. So quick and easy to insert that questioning and to be able to monitor are, are the people uh, doing this that need to complete this. Now, what does it look like to create one of these? So let's come on back here to OneNote and we're gonna go to our team meeting. And what I wanna do now is create a survey, right? So uh, we were talking about in this particular one, we had a meeting about using rich media for our org and we were gonna do things um, to promote uh, the use of rich media as part of our research goals um, and, and leverage it more heavily. So we wanna now survey the folks to see what do you think about that? So I'm gonna come back here, let's go to forms. And what we're gonna do is create a new form. Now notice quiz is one of those built right in. Here you can see a bunch of forms that I've created. So I'm gonna create a new one. And we're gonna give it a title. So let's go ahead and give that a title and we'll say, this is our researcher survey on use of media. So there we go. Now we could give a description if we wanted to. We could add a picture. We can get all fancy. We're just going to go simple here. And notice we have here the different, again, options. So what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and we're going to enter a multiple choice. Look at that. Simple and easy. Again, we're going to add pictures, make it pretty if we want. But I'm going to go ahead. Do you think we should use more rich media in conveying ideas as a part of our research? It would help if I could spell. There we go. So I've got, you know, just this basic one and we can go ahead. So we'll say option one is yes. Option two is no. And we'll add an option, maybe. There we go. So I've got three. We're not going to select anything here. We could allow for multiple answers if we wanted or not. We can make this required. Yes. Um, we could add an additional question or questions. And again, each time we do, we have all the options. We could have a free text, you know, give your comments. Comment with your thoughts. And we could say, you know, long answer to give them that. Uh, we can make it required or not. Once we're all done, look at there, it saved it. We simply come in. Again, grab that link. Then we're going to come on down here to our OneNote. And we want to insert. Please complete the survey from today's meeting. Boom. I insert it. It's going ahead and grabbing that. We can format that, move it around. And again, there we go. Hi, when you submit this form, I'll we'll be able to see your, yes, we know that. Do you think that we should use more rich media? Yes. Comments. Video is great. There we go. 
but you can see how easy and simple it is. Again, I could format it. I can make this box bigger if I wanted. I could submit another response, but we can see as soon as we've done that, there's my response. Again, we're getting status, seeing who's completed, what they answered, um, and tracking all that data. So it's simple, it's easy. You can not only use OneNote to have everybody share their meeting notes at a shared OneNote, you can then insert this, the stream recording of the meeting. Again, I'll provide a link back to how to do that. Um, and for procedures, Things like, you know, here we have ICU sterilization procedures. Again, we created rich content. We populated that in. Again, I'll provide a link back to that video. We provided the text and then we're now quizzing and ensuring that they mastered the content. So just think about the uses of OneNote. You can do both of these when they're completed can be done in OneNote, the rich client. They can also be done via the web. So if this was post it out into SharePoint, or let's say we added it to, I don't know, Microsoft Teams, right? We could have that available. But the point is OneNote and Microsoft Stream and Forms really provides an end-to-end -end solution for you to transfer information, to query on that and survey, or to assert or assess mastery and completion. So that's it. I hope you found that useful. Um, if you are in healthcare, if you're in life sciences, if you're in education, if you're in any industry, you can see the applicability of this. It's an easy, simple way to leverage tools people are familiar with, they already have mastery with, and to really extend them for knowledge transfer, for surveying after that, for capturing meetings and that tacit knowledge from all points of view, and again, surveying on it. You can query, you can quiz. It's all there built in. So OneNote, Microsoft Stream for video integration, and then Microsoft Forms, and you get all of it with Office 365. Hope you found this helpful. Again, if you have questions, and I thank my client for asking me this as a follow-up, that was a great, perfect follow-up. Um, if you have questions and you'd like to connect and, and find out more, you can find me at aka.ms slash HLS blog. That brings you to the Microsoft Healthcare and Life Sciences blog. And I'm there. You can also find me on LinkedIn. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me on Twitter. I'll connect with you on any of those if you'd like. So again, thank you. Have a great day. Take care. And as always, ciao.